Lieutenant Le Krill and Captain Vor are the dual bosses of Ceres, and likely the first multi-boss battle players will go up against in the star chart. They can be difficult for new players without the proper approach, especially if you're trying to do it solo. In this video, I'll be going over the rewards we can get, the best way to approach this dynamic duo, and what weapons, mods, warframes and companions are useful. Although these bosses have shown up before in their respective missions, this fight drops different rewards. Successful completion grants a part for the Frost Warframe and a Mitre Weapon part, as well as the chance for a Twin Gremlins Blueprint. Also, keep an eye out for Out of Sight, an exclusive potential mod drop from Let Krill's body. I see you! Yes. The easiest approach for this fight is to not take it head on. You want to head away from the rooftop platform and instead to the room below. Make sure to also clear away enemy units to avoid getting overwhelmed later on. Captain Vor will follow you and teleport to this room where you can deal with him without worrying about Let Krill's intervention. Just like with his solo fight, he has three stages with two invulnerability phases in between building up from just shooting his seer pistol, to also using the nervous mines that proc electricity, and then finally his void key beam. If you want a more in-depth guide and tips on dealing with Captain Vor, I would recommend checking out my Captain Vor boss guide linked in the cards and the description below. After dealing with Captain Vor, you want to head back up to the rooftop where Lek Krill has been wandering around. His mechanics are also the same as his solo fight, so you want to aim for the glowing blue power pack on his back, while staying more or less in melee range for the duration of the fight. By encouraging Let Quirrell to swing his hammer, it becomes easier to aim for his back. When his power pack glows orange, you want to bait his melee attack again, so that he does his ground slam, freezes up, and becomes vulnerable to damage. You'll have to take down his shield, after which you can only do a bit of damage to his health. You want to repeat this process 4 times, and again, the fastest way to do this is by staying within melee range as much as possible. In terms of the loadout for this fight, the bosses are both Grenier with shields and armor, so modding for cold, impact or magnetic should take down the shield pretty fast, while viral slash and toxin are great against health. For solo players, crowd control abilities can be useful since the arena is relatively open, and a weapon with lots of ammo helps if you are struggling to hit the power pack successfully. When we get to the second and final stage of the fight, Lieutenant Lekrill becomes just another enemy with lots of health, so you can easily finish off the fight. If you want more in-depth tips on dealing with Lekrill, I've linked my boss guide for him in the cards and the description below. Otherwise, I've summarized the tips here. Hope you find this video useful and comment below what your thoughts are on missions with multiple bosses. Should we have more of them? I'll leave this summary here and feel free to pause and read through this in your own time. Thank you and as always, have a nice day.